How's it going everyone? I'm Joe from Joe's Clothes Corner and welcome back to another video. Another week has gone by and we've had some pretty decent sales. I've not listed in about eight days now because we went away the weekend just gone so there was no car boot so I listed everything last week and just kind of chilled out and packed orders. I expected sales to tank massively and there were a lot of quiet days and Vinted has definitely slowed down massively as well but we still did some decent numbers and I'm actually really surprised. This week, again, we're entering our second week of no listing. So again, sales should slow down. But today we've had quite a few and we've probably hit about £100. So I'm pretty happy with that as well. Sales for last week in total were £481.63. That's £414 on eBay, £56.49 on Vinted. And then we had one Facebook Marketplace sale for 25 quid. Collection as well, so even better. We'll not hang about. We'll start off with the Facebook sale. We actually sold the Hayek travel cot that I bought from the car boot the other week for three quid or four quid. Don't know why I bought it, it's pretty heavy. I probably could have posted it, but it would have been a pain in the arse trying to, you know, bubble wrap it so it didn't actually smash. Luckily, it went for 25 pounds on Facebook within like a couple of days actually as well. And they picked it up within like two hours of messaging me and they were really happy with it. So. I think the max I can, could have got for it is about 30 quid on eBay. Then you've got fees, postage, things like that. So 25 quid from like three, I'm always going to say yes to that. And it's got a really large, bulky, annoying item out of my house because I can't store it away because it was just too big. Vinted, we had four sales, totaling £56.49. and pence. Starting off with the IKEA broccoli pu ah, IKEA broccoli teddy from the, the last video. It was the best thing I bought all day just because it's so funny. It was massive, it had a huge head. It sold within about an hour of listing. I paid three pounds, it went for 17.99. It was up for 19.99, which is the most one's ever sold for on eBay. So Vinted, 17.99, no fees, within an hour. I'm, I'm definitely happy with that, and they love it as well. You might remember that I stupidly paid 20 pound for all that Wii stuff. We have split it all up into numerous parts and it's all started selling. We sold the AV cables with the sensor bar and the power pack on Vinted for a tenner, so we knocked a couple of quid off. We're in profit on it, not a lot, but we've not lost money. Shout out to Ian, Master of Pieces, our first piece of Trapmaster has sold. It is Spencer with his tender. He was a motorised train, you flip the switch and off he goes. Works perfectly, paid I think £2.50 for two, and this one went for £8.50, no fees. Final sale on Vinted is a pair of Puma Ultra football boots. I think they were a 3.3 model. Nice pair, They're not a very big size though, and they went on offer for 20 quid. I think I got them ages ago at a charity shop for about three or four pounds, something like that. From the really cheap shop, Salvation Army, that's always got holes in the clothes, but the boots are okay. 20 quid all in. As with every week, eBay is the bulk of my sales with 400 pounds and 14 pence this week. I was really, really surprised with that because we did some listing on Saturday and Sunday whilst I had um, a fee offer and then no listing all week because we'd ran out of stock. So I really thought it was gonna be super quiet, but I think we had a really busy Sunday and then it kicked off massively at like the end of the week as well and we had some really good sales. So I'm pleasantly surprised. And you know, we went away, we enjoyed our weekend. So if I'm still making a bit of money whilst chilling out and doing our own thing, you know, I'm happy with that. First sale was a BT cordless handset. This was the unit only, no batteries, but it was very clean and no charging base. That went for £13.48 all in. If you can find handsets, Panasonic and BT, split them up. You normally make decent money. They do take a while to sell, but when they do, it's nice. It's free profit normally. Weird sale. Just had it sat around for ages. It actually went for full price in the end. It is a PMS Honey Monster Plush. It is from a, uh, what are they call grabber machine. It's quite a rare one. It had a red coat. That went for £13.99, and I think it cost me about a pound at the car boot. Really surprised with this now. I got I got sent an offer that I was actually really happy with. I've sold a Schleck horse. It is our second to last one from that big bundle from the charity shop. It was the most expensive one. There was one sale at nearly £20 ages ago. So I put mine up for about £19.50 plus £3.50 postage. And I've had it for ages. I've been sending out £12 offers on Vinted for months. And I got an offer for £17 plus the postage on eBay. Not going to say no to that. We definitely made a lot of profit on that whole bundle and if you can find Schleck stuff cheap, I definitely recommend buying it. 
Toy Story 3 on the PlayStation 3 that sold for $8.99. It was complete, but it had some water damage, so I've brought the price down a little bit. But still got decent money for it. GoldenEye Reloaded James Bond 007 for the Xbox 360, complete with manual, decent condition case and decent condition disc, went for £16.98 all in, which I think might have been full price, $14.99 plus the $1.99 postage that I'm starting to charge, so I was I chuffed with that. I've got one more of them actually, but the case isn't as good condition. There's some stickers on the manual, so I have reduced that listing as a whole. Hopefully it sells pretty soon though, alongside this one. World Snooker Championships 11 for the Xbox 360 sold as well. That went for £10.98. Most of these games are from that big £20 bundle that I bought off one of my mates. So I think we're definitely in profit on it. And now, just as the cheap ones trickle out, it's just one of them easy to, to post out. It's nice to package something so simple on a night and you know, earn a couple of quid here and there. Really, really nice sale. This has gone all the way to Canada. For some reason, it is not telling me how much they pay to post it for the first time ever. It is the Nike, uh, not Nike, completely wrong. It's the Adidas uh, F50.8 tunic football boots. These are mega rare and the ones that I had were really sought after. I, I found like a couple on eBay. And if they were mint condition or new, you're looking at hundreds and hundreds of pounds. There was a stud missing on this one. It looks like, it had some wood in it, it looks like it could have been cleaned out potentially and you can buy spares really cheap on eBay. I think I had it up for about 70 and I got an offer of 50 pounds. And this went GSP to Canada, so God knows what he's paid to post it. But we spoke a lot, I sent a lot of extra pictures because I wasn't sure about the missing stud and the thread. He reckons he's got a tool there where he can pick all the mud out, soften it up and potentially fix them. They are mega rare, so he has got a really good deal. Another couple of games, Shellshock 2 Blood Trails for the Xbox 360, one of the cheaper ones from that £20 bundle. That went for £7.98 all in. And Xbox One Starlink, brand new and sealed, really cheap game, went on offer for £4.50. I got a message from a buyer saying, it's this price somewhere else, can you match it? It probably wasn't brand new, but maybe it was. So I just said, yeah, let's just get it out while I'm selling a lot of games. I may as well. I've had this for ages sat around, and it's just one of them items that are a bit different. So, um, and it's tiny. So I thought I'll hang on to it. It was a Sony PlayStation 2 DVD remote. A genuine official one, really old, good condition. That went for $8.99 all in. And I think that was just, it might have been up for full price. And it just sold as and when. So I was happy with that. Pair of Nike SB trainers, not great condition, the suede was pretty knackered. Paid a pound for them because of that, and they went for £15.99 all in. Road Rash for the Sega Mega Drive sold, that went for £8.98 all in. That was from those three Mega Drive games that I got from that charity stall the other week. Now, if, if you guys have watched me for a while, you know that my favourite thing to sell is just the absolute most unsellable tat there is, because I find it hilarious. You could literally pick up anything from your house and sell it on eBay. Now, you know about the Wii's, the pointless, stupid Wii's that I'm not making any money on. I've actually sold the empty boxes. They're not even good condition. One of them has a massive dint at the top. The other one, <laughs> the water damage, it was all brown. The best one sold this week and the next one you'll see in my next sales video. Not massive money, but I'm already into profit on them, and this one went for £12.99 all in. Yeah, no idea. It was the Wii Sports Edition, just the original box. I don't even know if the blue inserts are complete. Some of them have manuals, some of them don't. One was a lot heavier than the other. But yeah, £12.99 all in for an empty Nintendo Wii box. Mad. This is actually really fitting that this is the next sale because, again, this is the most pointless item ever. No sales on eBay, nothing, nothing on Terrapeak. Uh, I bought a micro scale electrics. In fact, I still need to throw the box. It's this one right here. It's worth about 30 quid, maybe 35 if it was complete. Like an idiot, there was no plug, so I split it all out again. I've not sold any of the track yet because it's the older track, so I don't think I will. But cars have gone and maybe something else has gone, and then this. I sold the three card decorations that go around the track with some little plastic gray stands, I think. Those, so those card decorations there, never sold on eBay by anyone that I could find, not even anything similar. And they sold for 14 quid all in. No idea how I managed that. One of them had biro across the front, all photographed really, you know, detailed, 
and they were for 14 pounds all in and i think that cost us maybe like eight quid out of that 27 pound bundle of the truckington stuff so once the truck and trains sell or the huge bundle of track sells we're well into profit but yeah i just could not believe that they sold and i think they actually sold in a day which <laughs> yeah unbelievable scale electrics just buy them split them out the Facebook Marketplace pickup from the last video where we picked up the Technic stuff. I still got quite a bit of it, but we did sell two things last week. We sold a Ion Audio vinyl record player. This was just given to us with that bundle. It was a small little vinyl player and that went for 19.99 all in. So that was 14.99 plus five pound postage. There was like one on eBay that was brand new in a box, never opened for 30 quid. So I'm pretty happy with that. We then also sold the best item out of that set. It was the Technics CD player. It was an SL HD 60 and that went for 44.99. Again, if you know me, my favorite things to buy are Dysons or at least my favorite things to sell because they just sell so quick, but I just can't find enough of them. I get like one maybe every couple of months, but the huge bundle of broken stuff, it's been selling like hotcakes. I think these might be the last items from that entire thing. We've made hundreds of pounds, maybe even, well, well over 200, I think. We sold the tiny uh, motorhead for when you're using it handheld, really small. That went for £23.49 all in. And then we sold a charger because one of them had the wall kit. We got like £29 for that. This one was missing the clear plastic part of the wall kit that you actually screw onto the wall. So I took the plug out and I sold the plug separately and that went for £19.99 all in. Last couple of sales, these stuck in at the end of the week when I thought sales were tanking. We sold the City Motorcycle Boots. These were the women's UK 5.5, really nice red and black ones. Condition wasn't amazing. There was some wear to the toes. You probably could have got a little bit more if they were mint. I think somebody had sold them for about 70, but they were like brand new. These went for 49.99 all in. I sent them out yesterday, so I'm really hoping they're happy with them. Final sale was the Marvel Bend and Flex action figures the you, you probably know them if you've got kids they're quite popular they're like weird like figures where you can kind of move their arms and then they kind of stay they're, they're weird i don't know how you'd play with them but i've got a bundle of five i got them with some guardian of the galaxy guns and some other bits the guns sold in the next video as well for a really good price and these actually went for 25 pounds and 98 pence all in i'm currently running a 10 percent sale shop wide while i'm not listing trying to clear some stock and i figured while i'm not listing things maybe this will spur on some sales they went because of that deal and it's running until next sunday so or maybe next friday so take advantage of it grab a bargain i can probably you know discount more money i'm not bothered but everything is just a flat 10 percent at the minute i'm happy to take better offers as well that's everything that sold this week. Like I said, it totals about £481, which for a week of no listing and just posting things out, I am really, really happy with that. I can't wait to get back to the boot sale, buy some more stock, but I am limited on space and I'm filling my boxes quick. Maybe I'm just buying too much crap. So, <laughs> you know, if I can clear out some stuff this week, that would be even better. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video.